Hello everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be all about how to apply powder foundation. This issue is scary for a lot of people. They're afraid they're going to look very powdery and unnatural, but there is a way to look very natural and almost look like you're wearing a liquid foundation if you just follow my steps. If you're interested in this video and want to learn more about this topic, stay tuned, subscribe, like the video if you do, and let's go ahead and get started. First of all, it doesn't matter when you do your eye makeup. I did mine before just because I don't like fallout. I do it all the time. I just start with my eyes and then I do my face. You do it however you want. Then, really the core of this, the most important piece is moisturization of the face and the under eye. Now I did my skincare earlier today, but I have, my skin is bone dry almost. So I'm going to go in with the Bobbi Brown uh, face base and I'm just going to apply this really, really nicely, generously under the eye and all over my face. And you're gonna wanna let this sink in for at least a minute. You don't wanna go in and apply anything right away. So we wanna let the skin absorb these nutrients and then we can resume. Next, we don't wanna skip on primer. A lot of people think that you don't need primer with a powder foundation, but you do. So I'm gonna go in with my trusty, I have the full size, but I'm trying to use up this Hourglass Veil. This is really good for people that have oily skin, and it's also good for people that have normal to dry. So this is a universal primer. It's really good at controlling oils. So I really kind of put it right here in the T-zone, just to make sure that we have primer on the face. And I'm going to blend that in. just like that. The next step would be concealing our blemishes uh, prior to putting the powder over the face. And if you don't have any, that's fine. I'm just going to use a skin toned concealer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear. It's very, very full coverage. And I just want to apply this to the stubborn areas of my face that I don't want peeking through powder foundation. As you can see, it meshes with my face. It's the same color. I'm going to just take a little damp beauty blender or whatever sponge you have, blend that in. We don't want it raised. We want it flat to the skin. And whatever you do, you put concealer down first before you put the powder foundation down. And that is a big mistake a lot of people make, is putting it on after. Um, I like to go in with a really nice full coverage concealer for under the eye. So I'm going in with the Huda Beauty. Um, this is the Overachiever Concealer, and I'm in the shade Cotton Candy. Now, I'm not going to put it directly under the eye. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. And I'm going to really just warm it up with my ring finger. And I'm going to apply it right here. This is very emollient and it'll stay. And I want to kind of hide areas and highlight areas that I would. So any cream product you want to put on, you want to put on right now. I'm also going to color correct the darkness on my inner corner. So I'm taking the Tarte Color Corrector in light, light medium. And I'm going to make sure that I color correct where my blueness, where the redness is on my eye, where I really want it nice and brightened and color corrected. You see how dark that is? I want to fix that. I don't like taking my concealer, like, like here, I don't like it to be like that. I like to take it right to about here and blend it. So I'm color corrected, and then I'm going to take, you know, any tool and blend out the concealer. 
After that's all done, I like to go in with a contour uh, stick. So I'm taking the NYX Wonder Stick and I'm going in, like I said, you put all your liquids or creams on prior to putting the powder foundation on. So I just like to go in with this because that's just what I like to do. Sort of aids in having to use less bronzer. So I'm just going to blend this in to the skin. And we are not close to being done, not even close. I'm gonna go into depth. Just bronzing the skin up, contouring it up. All right, I'm satisfied here. And now what we're gonna do is very lightly set the face with powder. Yes, I said it. So I'm going in with the L'Oreal Hydra Perfect powder. So very, very, very lightly, we're gonna set the face. This is important because if you put the powder foundation on the skin at this point, it's going to cling in the areas that are still damp from our concealer and our cream products, which we don't want. So I'm just going in very, very lightly. I'm tapping off my powder and obviously setting down all of the areas that I've concealed and I've put that contour stick. All right, now I'm ready to take my powder foundation. Powder foundation of your choice, whatever you're familiar with. If you're unfamiliar, just experiment. Follow this tutorial and experiment. Get like the cheapest one or something and see if you can make it work. I'm going in, if I can, I don't know my shades. I change shades so much with the Bare Minerals Pro in Aspen 04. So mine just looks like this, a compact. Yes, I did hard, hit hard pan. We can use one of two brushes, a very large, nice, fluffy, but dense brush, or a very soft, round, dense brush as well. Not too dense because we want the product evenly dispersed. I'm gonna go with this one because this is ultra soft, very pliable and movable as you can see, and it's not going to um, saturate one area so heavily because it's super lightweight easily pliable. So I'm just going to literally dab in and start in the center of my face and I'm going to stipple this product in. Stipple it in and then when I get to the outer perimeters I'm going to just sort of swirl. I'm doing swirling and buffing motions. But I usually always, usually always, I like to start in the center of the face and then move outward. And as you can see, it's literally flawless. And it doesn't look cakey, powdery, or heavy. And I have a couple of tips for you as well as how to make this not look powdery or unnatural. If you, I have dry skin and I can use this technique with a powder foundation. It's so easy. If you find this brush is too hard, just take another large fluffy one and really just buff it in. Go on the outer perimeters. Swirl and stipple and buff. So super easy. Now if you're in a rush, you can use, you know, whatever without primer and all that. If you're just wanting to look polished, clean, and go to the store, I would just throw this powder on, powder foundation. But I would put setting spray on, obviously, to meld all the powders together and make it look more skin-like, if you will. I've just finished my under eye makeup and now I'm just going to apply my makeup as usual, as normal. I'll take you through that and then I want to show you how to not look powdery and look very, very natural. So I'm just going to take any bronzer. I'm going into the NARS, it's Atomic Blonde, Atomic Blonde palette. I'm going in with this 
uh, bronzer right here on a BK 103 brush. All the brushes that I used in this tutorial are from BK Beauty, which is um, Lisa J. She's a YouTuber. It's her line of brushes that she made. Um, and the reason I chose to buy these, I explained this in another video, but invest in a high-end set of brushes once in your life so that, you know, if you're a makeup artist or a YouTuber, that these brushes are going to last you quite a lot of years, you know, 10, 12 plus years. And um, what I really liked about this line was it comes with nine brushes. It was only, it was under $200 on sale and you can make payments on it with Afterpay which is really awesome. So you don't have to shell out that whole money all at one time. You can pay, it's bi-weekly, I believe, that you pay a certain amount, and it's not that much. So as you can see, I have nice full coverage from my powder foundation. My skin doesn't look heavy or cakey at all. I think that has to do with really moisturizing my face. Skincare is super important and why I don't like to put concealer all the way up here is because it's going to catch In the lines that we all have we all have like a crease up here I like to keep it a little bit lower down and you know pat here um, And leave enough to do my eye makeup because I don't want to look older than I already am and I really did a lot of skincare prior so that I don't look powdery and older than I really am and you know the powder is not going to stick and just look heavy on the skin and look powdery you know because I don't think I look powdery at all I think it looks very skin like at this point now I'm going in with my blush I chose the Milani um, Dolce Pink and this is on the BK 103 these brushes are very versatile and they're multifunctional so you can use that I could use this to bronze contour blush um, not highlight I would choose a little bit of the smaller one of these to highlight but I just love blush it's the first thing to fade so I load up on my blush then I'm going to go in with my highlight I'm taking the milk makeup flex in iced I love this I'm actually going to take that I'll take it on this Sephora Pro Contour because I like it to be a little bit more diffused and not so targeted, so I like a bigger brush. And I'm just going to swirl that, tap it off, and really, you know, make it look airbrushed in one. So we are looking very highlighted under the eye, very concealed, since we laid our concealer down prior. I don't look too powdery. And I'm going to tell you a trick now so that you can look even less powdery. So at this stage, I like to use a facial mist, not a setting spray. This is going to actually um, absorb into the skin, set all the powders down. And I use the Garnier Skin Active Soothing Facial Mist, 99 naturally de derived ingredients made with rose water without parabens, dyes, or silicones. It's vegan, and I go far away from my face. And I get an even mist. And that's really going to melt all the powders in. And I use a damp beauty sponge, and I lightly tap that product in. You know, just like you would do a normal um, liquid foundation. These are all the normal steps I would do for a liquid foundation. The only difference is the beginning is backwards. And these are just some tips to help look more natural. So, as you can see, I look very natural. No powder looking at all. I really like that. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add a little bit more powder. I like to use a finishing powder, um, which is just 
a little finely milled powder with a little luminescence, no um, shimmer or anything like that, no chunks of glitter. It's just to set and finish off the face. I like the Clinique one, um, Jaclyn Hill has one. Um, I like the Laura Mercier Candle Glow and that's what I'm going to go with today. So I'm just going to use a BK102 and swirl my product in here and just buff over the face. I love this powder. Just adds the nicest, healthy look to the face. And last but not least, don't forget your setting spray. I use the Glam Glow Glow Setter. It has no alcohol in it. It's really, really a fine mist. Just like you would a liquid foundation, set the makeup. And that's going to also make it le look less powdery if you feel that it looks super powdery. And then I'll also take that damp beauty sponge and very lightly tap this in until it's dry. And at this point, if you really wanted to add a lot of highlighter, you could. When it's just almost dried down and you want that pop of highlight, you can do that at this point. So everyone, I hope that this was super helpful to you. I know I struggled with powder foundation for a long time. It was just kind of trial and error. Um, so as you can see, my skin is looking really flawless, super skin-like. I don't look powdery at all. And those are some of my tricks and tips to applying powder foundation and making it look absolutely perfect. Skin-like each and every time. Mainly is moisture. Skincare is key. Remember that. I love skincare. Apply your SPF as well. Let me know down in the comments if this was helpful or not. Give me some questions. I'll answer anything in the comments below. After that, uh, there's that's all I have to say. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.